at CyberDuck, we're always looking to push our knowledge and skills as far as they can go. One thing that we're keen to do is hold our own internal hackathon. So a few times a year, we spend 32 hours building the product and making that a reality. There's a movement going on that's the Internet of Things, and that's where people are taking what's going online and actually bringing them into something physical and taking it into the real world. So we did a lot of brainstorming, a lot of sketching, we had loads of ideas of things we wanted to do, we wanted to tie into the duck themes. So we came up with the idea of taking an old cuckoo clock and making it react with what was going on online. If a tweet came through, the bird comes out, the chimes alerted, and then a message comes on the screen to show what's happening. Initially we started off by working on activating the cuckoo chime, so we used an Arduino to activate that chime. The Arduino, we're connecting that to a server, and the server was run by using a Raspberry Pi, which is a small computer, and allowed us to fit it into the clock. So the clock's self-standing, doesn't have to be connected to a computer, it can just sit on its own. We then worked on additional alerts, and we used some rubber ducks and fitted some LEDs into the eyes, which light up based on different situations and inputs from the server and from various APIs. We also connected a second Arduino that's powering a small LED screen. Again, it communicates with the server and we needed to fit that into the clock. It was quite an issue to make all this 21st century tech actually fit into an old cuckoo clock. So once we got the clock actually working and we kind of done the physical sort of mechanism and we were able to control when it went off, we then needed to work on the server itself. So the developers in our team, they coded a Node.js server that would run from the Raspberry Pi. The idea was that we'd go home and sleep, but we didn't get time to do that. We faced a lot of issues and we kept coming up with these new ideas. We wanted to make it much more flexible and future-proof, so we built a back-end system where we can log in to allow us to plug in various APIs and services and pick and choose what the behavior of the clock is based on the different inputs. As time went by and we are running out of time, we were adding new things in and, and working on new things and trying to get this product really outstanding. We had a big issue with setting up the server and getting it to communicate with the Arduinos and getting it to do what we wanted it to do. But once we kind of overcome this, it was time to present. So we, we managed to sort of fix the bugs, but we didn't really manage to test it, which meant that our presentation time was our formal testing time. We had to present to all the other team members. The rest of the team were the judges, essentially. So everyone watched everyone's presentations. The teams were then going to vote on their favourite project, and that project was the winner of the event. So the pressure of that working in the presentation was, was pretty big. During our presentation, we demonstrated a tweet. Someone sent a tweet from their phone to the hashtag that we had set up with the clock, and that was how we tested it. When it did work, it was good. We were all, we were all sort of happy and relieved. While we were presenting, the rest of the team were sending emails, registering errors, tweeting us, and it was going off in the background, which was good work actually finally paid off. The Cuckoo Clock Project 1, all the team were impressed by the length we'd gone to. It's a crazy idea, it's, it's something that we just completely pulled out of our head, but to be able to actually turn that into a real thing that we can use in the office was, was really good. It was great to kind of give ourselves the challenge and really push ourselves to be completely out of our comfort zone, but still manage to create a really cool product that we can be proud of. <laughs>